wrapping up about a week here in Asia where we talked to two of our strongest long-term trading partners, Japan and Korea, and an emerging one in the Philippines, one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Lots of things on the agenda, lots of opportunities for BC trade here in Asia, all of them that create thousands of jobs back in BC, but in particular talking about educational opportunities, the sharing of knowledge between our two countries, the opportunities for students and faculty to go back and forth, and to, to learn from each other, from each other's institutions and each other's cultures also been talking a lot about energy mining obviously in particular though LNG Japanese need our natural gas very urgently shutting down their nuclear and then also moving off dirty sources of fuel like uh, like thermal coal they need to do it now and they want British Columbia gas lots of opportunities to create thousands of jobs just LNG if three projects go ahead it creates 65,000 jobs a year every year while those projects are going on. And then, of course, we talked a lot about technology. The tech industry in British Columbia is something we've been working really hard to grow with our $100 million tech fund, making every child a coder by the time they're in grade six, big investments in post-secondary education, of course, low taxes. The tech industry in Japan, Korea, and the Philippines, as it's emerging, are very interested in what British Columbia has to offer in terms of our very talented population, our low tax regime, and our opportunities for collaboration. And those are the great clean jobs that lots of people in Vancouver, Kelowna, Victoria have come to see as their bread and butter, and we want to grow them. So far, it's been a great mission here to Asia. Our focus every single day has been to create jobs back at home for people in British Columbia.